Hello to all of my friends at the Cisco Learning Network, and hello to all my friends at the blogs where this is posted and YouTube subscribers. Anthony Sequera here with Stormwind.com, and it's time for a CLN video. Got a great question from Krishna. We see this question all the time. The question is, with EIGRP automatic summarization, it says that this will occur between major network boundaries. What in the world is a major network? Is it a network that joined the U.S. Army and then accelerated through the ranks? Is it a network with attitude? I'm a major network. Let's see exactly what a major network is, and let's review EIGRP summarization in this video. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take R1, connect it to R2, connect it to R3. It really is remarkable what you can do with just three routers. By the way, I set this up in advance so you wouldn't watch me go through this basic configuration. I built the 12 network right here. I built the 23 network right here. Now, why did I choose those addresses? And by the way, this is dot one, this is dot two, and this is dot three. I chose those addresses because they tell a story. Yeah, they describe the network. The 12 network is the network between router 1 and router 2. The 23 network is the network between router 2 and router 3. The dot 3 is R3. The dot 2 is R2. Do this when you're practice labbing. It'll really help you when you're doing show and debug output and you're seeing these networks. You can immediately visualize where they are in your topology. Now, yeah, these probably belong to like Verizon and AT&T. I'm stepping all over somebody's class A address space right here, but who cares? I'm not going to let these leak out into the wild. This is a sandbox lab environment. I'm going to make sure I don't leak this addressing out to the outside world. So obviously proceed with caution with that. Okay, guess what? These are major networks. Yeah, you see a major network is, these are both class A in the class full addressing system, right? This is a class A, the 12 network, and this is a class A, the 23 network. They are two different major networks. You see, a lot of people think, they foolishly think that, okay, uh, a major network would be like class A to a class B. In fact, that's the classic example of summarization you always see. A 10.x class A and a 172.16 class B. And they think, well, that's how the summarization would, would that, that would require the triggering of the automatic summarization. No, it's just a different major classful network. In this case, Two different class A's will have the automatic summarization behavior. Okay, now to start this demonstration and this test, if you will, I went ahead and did no auto on all these devices. That's what we typically do in practice, right? We turn off automatic summarization. That's what we typically do in a best practice EIGRP configuration. All right, well, let's take a look at what you would have in this environment. When you're practice labbing, it's always great to draw out your topology like this, configure it, and then think before you do your show commands. Predict what you're going to see, okay? What I think we're going to see is 12, 12, 12, slash 24 on R3. We're going to see that network over here, not summarized. And over on R1, I think we're going to see 23, 23, 23, not summarized. Okay, that's what I think. Let's prove our theory. So we'll go to R3 and I'll do show IP route, EIGRP, and we were right. We see the unsummarized 12 network, 12, 12, 12 network specifically, because we turned off automatic summarization on specifically the middle router R2. Actually, it's turned off everywhere, but that doesn't matter. It's turned off here where it matters. Watch. Show run section EIGRP. Gosh, I love that section command. 
and it shows us, yep, automatic summarization has been turned off. Oh, by the way, notice how we can quickly get EIGRP running on all of our interfaces with the network quad zero command. All right, what about over on R1? Over on R1, if we do our show IP route EIGRP, we see the 232323 network with its 24-bit mask. Now we'll play with automatic summarization. I'm gonna do something I don't ever do. I'm gonna go in and turn this feature back on. This is the default configuration. Whoops, <laughs> look, it's hard for me to type it. Auto summary, that's the default EIGRP configuration. If you type that command right, you're gonna resync with your neighbors. And now let's go back to our exercise of what do we think's going to happen? So now we have automatic summarization turned on on R2. Well, we have major networks here. So what I think's gonna happen is R2 is gonna summarize the 23 network to its class full boundary and I think it's going to summarize this network advertisement to its classful boundary. Let's see if that occurred. This is one of those drum roll moments. I really need to get a drum roll. Let's go over to R3 and do our show IP route EIGRP. Oh my gosh, look, it worked. It automatically summarized the major classful network of 12 in this 23 network environment. And if you go over to R1 and you rerun your show IP route EIGRP, yep, just what we expected. It summarized the 232323 network to its major classful slash eight boundary. So automatic summarization in action. We turned it on right here on R2 and we saw how it automatically summarized to the classful network boundary these two different class A major networks. By the way, worth pointing out that automatic summarization is still disabled here and it's still disabled here, but turning on this feature of automatic summarization on R2 had you know, consequences on the routing tables of R1 and R3. Well, perhaps this has triggered other questions for you, and I look forward to answering those other questions at the Cisco Learning Network. Thank you so much for joining us in this video on EIGRP, automatic summarization. And by the way, we ought to not do it. Don't automatically summarize. We ought to not do that. What you want to do is you want to control summarization in your network environment exactly where you want it with what we call manual summarization. So the old joke of auto summarization and auto uh, and EIGRP, we ought to not do it. Thanks again for watching.